case numbers continue to fall, it appears we are past the peak of the Omicron surge. And while San Diego saw a record number of cases over the last two months, other numbers such as hospitalizations and deaths did not spike as dramatically. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Aarons takes an in-depth look at these numbers to find out why. In early January, as lines for COVID tests stretched for blocks and businesses struggled to find enough healthy employees to stay open, county leaders promised San Diego would persevere. COVID keeps throwing different things at us and we keep responding. Um, and San Diegans know what to do. The numbers only got worse. From December 8th, the first day the county confirmed the presence of the Omicron variant in San Diego, through January 25th, San Diego County reported 284,303 new cases of COVID. To put that into perspective, that's about 42% of all the cases we've had since the pandemic began. We are just so lucky that the severity of disease that seen with Omicron was a fraction or just partial compared to Delta. Dr. David Bazo, the chair of the UC San Diego School of Medicine and Health, says that kind of surge should have crippled the healthcare system. But San Diego's high vaccination rate combined with Omicron's low level of severity kept things under control. Comparing Omicron's numbers against the last winter's surge show how bad it could have been. During Omicron, in addition to the 284,000 new cases, San Diego saw 1,174 new hospitalizations, 68 new ICU admissions, and 253 more deaths. Over the same time period last winter, before vaccines were readily available, there were 134,621 new cases, less than half of what Omicron saw. But 4,642 people were hospitalized with 294 new ICU admissions and 1,333 deaths. Put simply, this winter had more than twice as many cases, but only about a fourth the amount of severe outcomes. I tell you what, we dodged a bullet big time there. Still, while hospitals didn't collapse, the surge came with its own challenges to the healthcare system. Dr. Bazo says the higher number of cases put a strain on what he calls upfront medical care. A lot more ER visits, a lot more urgent care visits, a lot more testing, a lot more phone calls from primary care physicians trying to keep track of their patients, make sure that they're getting better and not getting worse. Now, as people recover, there's a thought that the increased level of natural immunity will help protect the county from future surges. A UK study released this week found that 88% of people infected with COVID still have antibodies six months later, but it was only for the original variant, not Delta or Omicron. Other studies show combinations of vaccines and natural immunity offer even more protection. But Dr. Bazo warns that doesn't mean healthy people should seek out the virus. If you haven't had the disease, don't go out and try to get it because you think it's going to make it better because that could backfire. Dr. Bazo warns of long COVID or other complications that come with infections. He says vaccines are enough and each surge makes us more prepared for the next one. We learn from what's just happened and then we try to apply that knowledge moving forward. Jared Aarons, ABC 10 News. The county updated their data last night. They reported another 25 deaths and 59 new hospitalizations. But daily case numbers remain under 3,000 for the third day in a row. And our seven-day test positivity rate you can see is just under 20%.